What's up, guys? So a buddy of mine asked me at one point, uh, just the other day, have you done any upgrades to the shop at all? I mean, have we done any upgrades to the shop? Manufacturing is about continuous improvement all the time. Your job is to improve the process by doing it. What we do every single day is just hot rod the hell out of this shop. My one word that I want people to say when they see the inside of this shop is popped up. And that's what we're doing right here. Right here. Let's go have a look through. Um, it's going to be a lot. First of all, inventory management. We start standing our boats up our noses on rolling carts. This is one of them here. We cut them on our CNC machine, which is also new. This enables us to put up our boats on our noses and get, get this. You can roll them out, pull one boat out of the stack with a hoist, drop it down into its shipping box, and off you go. No more fumbling around trying to pick ones out of a stack like you've got books on a shelf or anything like that. Instead, there's inside our rolling racks and they enable us to actually get underneath everything, sweep the floor, we can move them around, we can be a lot more adaptive. And it just makes our shipping area work a great deal better and actually saved us like 15% more space when we went to this. Like, our boat doesn't look like any other boat, so why would our storage system look like any other storage system? Besides that, obviously we're taking advantage of conventional pallet racking. I mean, duh. Uh, that's just sort of general. Over here, in our hardware and mass building area, we've moved spar building over to this area. It's nice and compact. Our spar jig now is absolutely hopped up. All the drills are built in. The bits might as well be welded on here. You can't get it wrong. Every single thing along the way. Here's a sharpie. It's on a tether. It's for marking that one spot there where the spreader bracket gets attached. Here's the next drill. It goes into this bushing. Okay, okay, real simple. Here are spring pins that go into the mast, stocked right in hand, right where you need them. Right over here, all the parts that go into it. This is a boom building jig right here. It makes 10 booms at a time. Not necessarily the quickest process because you're making 10 at a time, but it's kind of nice. And also, the whole freaking thing comes down from the ceiling on a winch. Same thing as this guy. You can't put it on wheels, at least place it in the air. Like, if the sky's the limit, good thing we have so much sky in this building. Over here, and this has been completely awesome. Every single part that you need is stocked in cups right here with an arm's reach. You need a drain plug, there it is. You need the jig for installing the drain plug, there it is. Like that, boom. You need the hole saw for it, hole saw is right here, color coded and numbered, and it's on. It's on a take up. This is all used Harkin stuff from my dad's shop, and it just goes back where you need it, and it's ready with an arm's reach. Keeps it nice and simple. Over here, we've got more. Hardware right in the own reach. Every single step is value added. Look at that. Here's the hardware jig. Everything's marked and color coded. And then this guy, once you've drilled all your holes, this one comes off. It's been with me since day one. That's one of the oldest tools in this whole shop. Then, you can get to the other side of the boat to fit the hardware and go look at that. All your parts are within arm's reach right there. Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. Oh God, stop making a mess there. <laughs> Same old, same old bonding jig. We've got a couple things we want to integrate, but honestly, we kind of got it right the first time. This whole process has been super slick. Still letting off the chain hoist. Beautiful system. Love it. Over here, though, we have our magnum opus today. That's our silicone bag system. <laughs> Over here in the spray booth, we've got this guy. It's a mobile painting jig. We're making tillers right now. We're also housing silicone spray masks, which enable us to basically tape off our foil molds when we're gel coating them easily and simplistically and repeatably and not have to throw away a whole bunch of tape every single time. Saves us time, gains us accuracy, saves us a little bit of wasted tape. Over here, one of our bigger improvements, we brought in our own CNC machine capacity. Right now, that guy's making spreader brackets. And yes, at present, it's making a lot of dust, and dust is the enemy. But next week, we bring the hose down, and upstairs, 
There's a big jet engine! And that kills off our dust problem once and for all. Our foil building area has tripled in capacity and increased needs of use. This little old jig here, well, sorry, press here, which was driven by clamps, has been mostly retired. It made us the first hundred or so sets of foils, but it needed to move on and move to greener pastures and get replaced with, oh, I don't know, 50-ton hydraulic jacks. Another couple of eight-ton hydraulic jacks there on the double-decker press. So now we've tripled our pressing capacity for making foils. It's kind of useful, not necessarily running that full tilt all the time, nor do you necessarily want to, but when you've got it available, you use it. Over here in the small parts area, we've got and more capable. Um, huge thanks to Mario in that regard. Mario's been a hardcore lean thinker in this, in this area. He's actually just patterned out a shelf that he's going to be putting up there um, every single day. There's neat little tricks and things getting done here that are just so damn cool. Let's go upstairs into the running area. We built a mezzanine, guys. For the most part, this whole new floor essentially is housing our service department, but we also have a rotating fixture here. This is a neat little guy here. It basically enables you to, in one fluid motion, cut all the parts on the boat. It's all laid out. It's all color-coded. It's ready to go. And the spool is just housed right on here. And as opposed to a conventional long table, which would take up twice as much space and you do a full length, we double back instead and save ourselves 50% of the floor space. And we've got a lot of basically small parts, uh, wheels for our dollies, service department inventory, and then we cut a big damn hole in the wall over here. So let's go through here. This is it, guys. 